vibe around the building is much different. I mean, you can feel it out here in practice. Uh, what have you seen from Coach Bill? Yeah, I think he, you know, he's always trying to teach. You know, that's the main thing. Situational awareness is so important to him. He always says, you know, more games are lost than they're won. So he wants guys to always be educated and understanding of what situation we're in and how we expect them to perform. Um, he's very uh, direct with his communication and language about those things. So everybody's on the same page in terms of how they're receiving that information and, and how we expect them to execute it. What excites you about the, the rookies, Moss and Skinner that you all drafted? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, number one, on their college tape, those guys were very versatile. Um, they all had different skill sets, and, and we can, you know, primary job, secondary job, and they fit how we want to play defense. Um, I think as we've started off, all those guys have been very focused. Um, the, the, the mental is really big with, with Coach Payton, so we want guys who can learn that we know we can teach and mold in, in the way that we want them to play. Obviously, they already have the talent. Both of those guys have really taken that approach. I mean, obviously, J.O. hasn't been out there, but meetings, walkthroughs, he's dialed in like it's game day. And that's exactly what you want to see from young guys and them kind of learning from the older vets and, and being able to find their way. Well, I think that, um, you know, sometimes as coaches we can, you know, you there's a certain way we can talk upstairs and a certain way that you talk to the players. So you don't want to give them too much information. We have to streamline it for them. And then when guys have been coached for a while, then they can kind of put it in even more like layman's terms to their teammates because it's a different perspective because they're actually out there on the field. So we have that perspective as we talk to them. But then sometimes like the way K-Jack can talk about something to a guy might be the same message as me, but it might be another way of doing it. So however it hits their brain, whether it's, you know, in the meeting with me, a walkthrough with me, they come off the field. I tell, hey, you know, Justin, grab, grab him and, you know, go over X, Y, Z. He knows what I'm talking about and we can kind of put that direct message to him. This is your third head coach here. That's sort of rare. Uh, what, what's that been like for you? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's been, you know, it's a blessing, to be honest with you, because, you know, I do enjoy here. I enjoy the room. I enjoy the guys that I coach and, and the organization as a whole. Um, been able to learn from a lot of different guys and a lot of different schemes and kind of putting those all together. So, um, yeah, it's definitely been interesting. But I think that, you know, now we're at a place of continuity and we just keep building and stacking, and, and it's a learning opportunity for me.